Hi hey guys, there are major changes in Arclex, right? From 45 ISOs to just three. But it's also important to stay rolling. That means that whatever system I have based on XL, XS, D or the Bs, everything should stay the same. And this is my test for you. How to stay rolling. You know I make these videos every month at every release, but here's one in between. Just to make sure that well, first of all, the message gets across that keep rolling, right? doesn't matter what we do on our end. We're just updating some packages and we have a new delivery system, a new Calamaris, and we have three new ISOs. But in the end, your machine, right, shouldn't have a major impact. But let's have a look. So I've installed, let's go first here, ISO. I've used the one from April which is actually the one from March 16, as you see. It's built that particular moment in time. Then we test and we test and we test, and then we release in beginning of March, uh, April in this case. And then off we go, we update. We update our system. Update is using anything not AOR related. And of course, you get always a bunch of updates after more or less six or eight months or eight uh, weeks, or something like that. And we have eight parallel by default. If you say no, on my end of the world, I can do this a lot faster. I do this and Pacman. And you go to parallel downloads eight. This will speed things up on my end. If you have paid for a fast internet, if you have quick access, etc., and things like that. And then this happens 20 and then all the small bits go quickly, 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 kilobytes, right? Just kilobytes, that's quickly there. And that's much faster for me, of course. <coughs> so do we have issues? One of the first things Arch Linux you need to know if you ever have an anything Arch Linux based is an Arch Linux keyring. But there we go, we are already installing, there is no Arch Linux keyring in this video. But let's just do the motions. So if you see some message about key rings, sudo pacman minus s arch linux key ring. That's the thing you need to remember. And when you install it, the keys, the new keys or the old keys, right? It all depends. And if you have no clue what I'm talking about, arch wiki key ring, right? Or keys and read what it's all about. It's basically authenticating, created, a package is created by somebody and signed by somebody and that means it's safe one of the other things <coughs> we always do in the videos is we want to give you support in this case that's the real tech thing so if you don't have a real tech machine okay then you remove it R stands for remove yeah, if you have no idea what things you can type there, Pacman is our package manager. And all of us have read the package, the Pacman manual over and over and over again. So read everything you can put your hands on and it's already here on the machine, but also Arch Wiki Pacman. There are Pacman tricks and tips and all of that needs to be read, re-read, re-read until you say, okay, got it. Because it's essential. It's our package manager. It manages our system. So here we are, real tech. If you say, Eric, true, I don't have it. It just takes up time to build the make init CPIO files here. So this process here is taking a little bit more time because of that. So I always remove it because those are for your sake there, not mine. So that's what you do. Remove this. Now that's typing and I hate typing. So I have remove Broadcom and Realtek. I have a script, right? So this could be your thing. You know I have Arcanix Nemesis scripts. I run it after a clean installation of Arcanix because Arcanix is not good for me. I don't want it as a user. I change it, I remove things and I add things and then Arclinks becomes my thing, right? 
this is distro created for a public, an audience, a target audience, right? But I don't want this one, for example. So this one is definitely going to go into my uh, Arclix Nemesis because the hardware, I don't have it in the home. So why would I have, why do I need drivers for it? So that one goes out. Voila. And the kernel is this one, just the one. You'll see that the new ISOs, Arco Net, Arco Pro and Arco Plasma have two kernels. So there again, you say, you decide the last six years, we were quite happy with the normal Linux kernel, right? Always trustworthy, no problems, no issues. But if you have, well, hardware that requires another kernel, you stick with that one. But do you need two kernels? That's entirely up to you to decide. But that's for the future. This is the video how to stay rolling. So basically we've done our work and there is nothing to be set besides the fact that we've updated Sophia RAM, sure. So the software install or remover. We've updated Arch Link's tweet tool. You can install now Hyperlint and Wayfire as well but also remove it, so the desktop treasure. We've given you ample time to install packages for the bootloader or the bootloader grub or the bootloader refined, whatever you have on your system. Some new configurations inside Fish and Bash and ZSH, so aliases that are new. But in the end, right, in the end, all is well. As you see, we're just rolling. There's nothing really uh, anything to say. Up all is the last thing. Aha, we do have something to say. We've made already videos about this one. So Paru is not happy, is not healthy. So sudo pacman minus Paru git. We went to the git version. We say bye to the bin version and we say welcome to the Paru git. So this is binary version. That's the git version normally is the very last code the developer puts online on github okay that's a git version so if you up all again we hope that everything is fine and there we go so that's it that's how we stay rolling basically um the difference is that the arco pro and net will not have the plank plank is gone again but the same applies the bars at the top and we have server icons the saturday icons are now out for a few years and we'll switch maybe in a couple of years again but it just looks you know the drill you just go ahead and go change things and it's all in settings you can go for appearance and you can go for right mouse click and go for the panel and go for panel preferences and put it at the bottom and lock the panel as you see down here horizontal vertical there are lots of things to play with you can also make it smaller like this so that's just design and rising and it just takes less than 60 seconds. Talking about and, 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 um, our rising, there is something in our folders. There's plenty of things in here in the dot bin. Have a look, a lot of fun stuff, the dog and the Darth Vader and stuff like that. But there's also the Arclix change theme. So that might be something that you say, hmm, I'll change that to my code. So here I want our dark, a candy beauty icon theme, not all sans 11 and Bibata modern ice. But if you change the variables, it becomes yours. The only thing you have to do is rename it. Control C, Control V and give it your name. This will never be overwritten with a skull. I don't know your name, right? So then you run this thing, whatever variables you have, and then it's set as well, quickly. Just thought about that. Here we have this thing here. That means I can drag it, right? So I did not lock it afterwards. So the panel preferences, lock, close. All right, okay. Not much to tell. Um, of course, the changes that, you, that we've made and let's show you this as well sudo pacman minus remove arco linux we have 
Here the Arconex XFC Prime Git, that's a good catch for me because the Prime Git is actually not the one that we're gonna use on Arconet. The one we're gonna use is actually called Arco XFCE. So if you wanna join us, um, wait, it's called Arconet XFC. So anything new, let's do an S, then you see it, Arconet. These are the Arconet packages. These are the Arco Pro packages, that's it. And Arco Plasma, I don't think we have one, do we? We don't have one, right? So these are the only packages we have for the new kits on the block, the three ISOs that we'll move to. But as I said prior, just keep rolling until you say, I've messed it up and I'll need a reinstall then you take the Arco Net, the Arco Pro or the Arco Plasma. All right, have fun. So maybe before I was thinking, um, have fun. <laughs> Arco Net, if you say, Eric, I want to follow you, right? Then it's this one, Arco Net XFCE is the new configuration and I need to change packages. As you see, he says, oh, I have a conflict, right? It's owns the same, well, similar files for XFCE will clash with this one. Well, why not do it immediately in the video, right? I'll pause the recording and all you need to do on my end, I need to do that, is tell them that this package is going to clash with the other package. And then Pacman says yes or no. All right, back in a bit. And just like that, a few minutes later, we make, well, we'll continue the video. And there it goes, right? We update the database. And then it says, replace Arconix XFC Prime Git with Arconix repo Arconet XFC. Yes, please. Right? It's just a change. Where is the change going to? Very important. It's not gonna change your look. Why? It is in the ETC scale. It's the scale is not used unless you create a new user, for example. Then the content of ETC scale goes to the new user and he'll get the new look. So if you don't do anything, if you just stop here, the look stays the same, blank is still there, lots of things are the same. But if you do scale, and if you have no clue what scale is, type it, follow the link, and watch the videos. There is so much mention about scale and it will help you or it will eh, be a curse. Well, less a curse if you know what it is, right? Use it wisely. That's the only thing. Broken TWMs, so tiling window managers, will fix it again. You have again something to log into because of a scale. So yeah, it will help you for sure. And there is always a backup for your files that you've created. But right, follow the videos, see what it does. And if you say not ready yet, so no, done. Nothing has been changed. All right, that's it for me. Uh, enjoy Arclinks, the learning. And um, voila, that's the end of the video. I can't think of anything anymore. <laughs> All right, cheers.